Hi everybody, Justin Doman here, uh, going to do a quick video walkthrough um, of a house that we just wired down here in Highland Park, Dallas, Texas. Um, we did a lot of cool stuff in this house uh, for low voltage lighting, um, smart home technology, uh, cameras, audio video, just all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to do a quick walkthrough, talk about what wiring is where, what it does, and hopefully you guys get some ideas and take this into your own homes. Coming into the exterior of the house, um, you will see that we have our camera wires uh, poking out. Uh, we use Cat6 wiring for all of our cameras. Um, that way they can be power over ethernet. It's a single wire, it keeps it clean. Um, and they've got, you know, eight and 12 megapixel cameras now to get super high definition picture. Um, over on that side of the house, we have another camera looking at the front yard. We've got a Cat6 there. This is for our doorbell. Um, you'll notice that we color code um, everything that we do um, just to keep everything sorted nicely. Coming out the top, we have another camera um, looking straight down for a full time recording. Um, this area is actually um, kind of like an outdoor entertainment area. There'll be a mini uh, little wall coming down right through here. Um, so we got a stub out for uh, speakers as well as low voltage wiring. Um, pretty much have everything in the kitchen sink. We've got like four or five Cat 6s. We've got six or seven 16 4s. Um, just everything we could possibly need to do our low voltage lighting um, out here in this front yard. Coming into the house, first thing, we've got our security wiring. It's 22-4, uh, fairly standard. Um, we've got a Qolsys um, IQ panel 2 going there. Um, it'll be all Qolsys security throughout this entire house. And we can kind of talk about that a little bit more um, as we go along. Uh, this room will have a glass break in it. We've got some huge windows. Um, they don't open, so we just want to make sure it's kept secure. Um, we've got a total of two speakers going into this living room. Uh, we pre-wired this house for Origin Acoustic Speakers, the director series, uh, which is pretty cool because these brackets actually collapse and fold back in. Um, coming up here into our pocket, um, there'll be recessed shades that go up into the cavity up there. Um, we've got Cat 6 and 64 running to both of these shade locations, um, just because there's different types of shades out there. Um, Lutron uses 16.4, Qmotion uses Cat6, so we just wanna make sure that every shade um, has the ability to hook up. We got a wireless access point right there in green to cover this side of the house in the office. Coming here into the office, we have all the shade wires ran. We've got a TV over here in the corner. Our TVs are ran with two RG6 and a Cat6. Um, and then we have two speakers up in the ceiling uh, directly underneath the cam lights. And coming over here, uh, we do have a data line. Um, as well as a outdoor um, pool controller wire as well. <clears throat> now, this part of the project um, took a lot of engineering and work, um, but we were able to get it done. Uh, each one of these stairs has a 16-4 and a 16-2 ran to it. Um, what this is gonna accomplish is under the toe kick of the stair, where the hardwood sticks out, we'll actually be putting a LED strip underneath to shine down onto the stairs. They'll be able to do red, blue, green, any color you want, or just the basic white, depending on what the homeowner wants. Then, 
on both sides of the stairs. You'll notice each of our stud bays going up through there. Um, we'll actually have a LED track. Um, it actually looks similar to this. That gets recessed into the wall um, all the way through to do uh, art lighting for these customers. As you can see, we've got <laughs> a lot of stairs. We actually went through and we routed um, with the plunge router down just far enough um, and then stapled each run into place. That way, couldn't get messed up through construction because uh, if one of these wires don't work, your stair doesn't work. So we put a lot of effort into making sure all this was done the way it needed to be done. The uh, brand of lighting we're going to be using to power all this is Color Beam. Um, they make a high quality LED wiring solution. We've got more shade pockets up here. Coming into the bathroom, we have two more Origin Acoustic speakers pre-wired. Coming into the bedroom, we've got more areas for the shades pre-wired. We've got a total of five in here. We have our TV location right here. We'll have a 75 inch Sony uh, 900 series going into the bedroom. see a little bit more detail of what it took to uh, get all of our wiring runs um, go in a little bit more detail um, I'd have to do the math again but it's like five or six stairs that we can do per uh, power supply so we run six stairs back to a single box and that single box then goes back to our home run um, with a thicker gauge cable um, to run everything over Got a little mini kitchen in here with two speakers. We've got a front formal dining room uh, with two speakers in here as well. Coming into the main kitchen, we're going to have our two speakers. You can see them marked out in red here in the kitchen then here at the living room we have our TV location this is going to be a pretty cool floating wall I can't wait to see it when it's done uh, we have a motion detector wired up there in the corner we have a subwoofer down here at the bottom left I doubt we use that location we wired it uh, just in case they want something a little bit better uh, but then we have our full 5.1 in ceiling wired around and then right here in the middle, we'll have an Origin Acoustics 10-inch end ceiling sub that uh, sounds really, really good. Coming through this area again, we have all of our shade wires. Ran through. We've got another security panel ran back here at the back door. Um, from our home run area for our garage doors, we actually run a Cat6 cable um, from the home run down um, for all of our garage doors. Uh, what that it does is allows us to plug directly into the garage door with a relay output to um, open and close them. We've got some garage speakers here on the outside. Coming out here into the backyard, we've got another camera that will be overlooking the pool area. I'm sorry, that one's just for the backyard. We've got one right over here um, that is just for the pool. 
And then coming here to the patio, we've got another four speakers pre-wired along with our TV. Um, and then we've got a wireless access point there in the corner. Um, and then we have another data drop here um, that we utilize for our uh, wireless shades if needed. Uh, usually outdoor shades, the brand that we use is Sumphy or Sc uh, Screen Innovations and they use a MyLink Pro um, that can hardwire back to the controller. So we put that bad boy right there and gets it nice and close to the shades if needed. Up high, you can see our wiring trunk. We try to keep most everything up and away from all of the electrical. We've got another shade wire right back here. Uh, this is just a support wall for the moment. Um, there's a huge sliding door. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous that goes into this room. All right, we have more stairs. Um, the staircase uh, doesn't have all the under lights, it just has the wall lights. Uh, so we got a 16-4, 16-2 there. We got a 16-4, 16-2 here. Another 16-4 and a 16-2 there. Basically anywhere where there's a turn or a break, we have to run a wire to accommodate for our tracks to be in place and to be wired in. All right, coming into the media room, we have a Dolby Atmos. This thing has changed here um, a couple times. Not sure if they've got it framed in right or not. I've got to actually do a walkthrough, make sure our speakers are still in the right locations. Um, as this room has been reframed about three times. Uh, so we're going to have a wall-to-wall -wall screen um, that goes acoustically transparent via screen innovations. Um, and then we'll have our in-wall speakers that go directly behind the screen. Um, as of right now, we have KEF, uh, uh, the, the R-Series, the 30, uh, 5160 spec into this system. It looks like our side speakers have actually disappeared. Um, we had one here before they reframed all this wall, and then one directly across, which looks like it has disappeared as well. Oh, actually, they moved them. Okay, so they moved these uh, speakers back here. Um, just so we can keep them even. We got two back rear speakers. Uh, zigzag up so we can do in walls. Um, and then up in the ceiling, we have all of our speakers for our Dolby Atmos overhead. Um, and we also got wiring for two subwoofers. Front and back to keep the room nice and even with the base. Um, we've got kind of an exercise room here. Um, we just put basic brackets in because this is going to be unfinished space for the time being. Coming into our wiring closet, um, we have our Datacom cable trench. Um, it has all of our house's wiring ran to it. Um, we have our LED wiring right there. We got our security wiring, we got coax wiring, we got a lot of stuff going to this closet. Fortunately, they did make us share a closet last minute. This was supposed to only be for AV, but there was no way to heat and cool the media room as well as the exercise room. Um, so they added another unit into my closet. Um, so I have a 44U rack here. Um, some of this is coming out right here. Uh, and then we'll have another little mini rack that goes into its place. We've got an access point up in this area. Uh, it's pulled up at the moment. Um, actually, it looks like they needed to move it just because we did uh, added the sprinklers in after we came in. So we got to relocate that wire. We have speakers throughout the hallways up here. We got two in this hallway.
We got our basic bedrooms with TVs. Got a little 32 inch or 40 inch going in right there. We got two cameras going in uh, these hallways, one to look down that hallway, one to look down that hallway. We have a wireless access point there in the green. Then we got two more speakers going down this hallway. Coming into this bedroom here. Got just another basic TV going here. Got another basic TV going into this bedroom. Uh, nothing, nothing special. Uh, coming into the game room, we got two overhead speakers placed between the can lights, and then we've got a TV ran nice and high for uh, probably a 75 inch um, in order to keep it away from the pool table. Last bedroom here, we've got our last TV. Just um, that's actually solid core door right there, so we'll utilize that entire space. Um, probably do, uh, I don't know, probably about a 50, 50 inch right there um, to go through. So this house will be fully automated with Control 4. Uh, we'll have Control 4 dimmers throughout, uh, keypad lighting, just a bunch of cool stuff going into here. A um, little bit of a project uh, to get started on to plan out with the lighting and other cool stuff going in. Um, if you guys have any questions on how we do stuff or what you've seen, uh, please comment below, um, subscribe, and like the video. Thank you.